Hello and thanks for watching. My name is Angel Villar and I am a systems engineer at VMware. This video complements the VMware blog post called Use a Zero Trust Approach to Protect Against WannaCry. Particularly, we are going to see the demos for steps 5 and 6. Let's start with step 5, create a distributed firewall rule to immediately block or monitor all traffic with destination port 445. In step 4, we found that the WannaCry process was running in some Windows VMs and generating network activity on the network 172.16.70.0/24. Now let's move into the firewall tab and see how to block that traffic. The first thing we are going to do is to create a new section for our rules and we will call it WannaCry mitigation. We will add it on top of the firewall rule set so that it has the highest priority. We finish with the name, we select add above and we click on save. Next we add a rule so that we block traffic on the specific subnet we have seen malicious activity. So we provide a descriptive name, in this case block TCP 445 on subnet. Click on save. As the source we keep any and as the destination we will add the IP subnet where we have seen the malicious activity 172.16.70.0/24. And under service we will specify TCP 445 which is the port we want to block. TCP 445, click on save. Finally, we will modify the action. So instead of allow, we select block and we configure the rule to log all traffic. And in this way, in just a few minutes, we are blocking all traffic on TCP port 445 on the subnet where we have detected malicious activity. If you prefer, you can also block all traffic on TCP 445 towards all your Windows VMs, which is a far more disruptive policy. But if you want to go that way, you can copy the rule we have just created. So select on the pencil, copy, click on the pencil again, and paste below. Here we edit the name, so we are now blocking TCP 445 to Windows all traffic towards our Windows VMs on this specific port. As the source we keep any, as the destination we remove the IP subnet and we click on the pencil to add the group of our Windows VMs. As the object type we select security group. Here we go and here we select the group we are interested in which is all Windows VMs. We click OK and the rule is ready. But because we want to start small, we will disable the rule based on Windows VMs and will only apply the policy based on IP subnet, because initially we want to be the less disruptive possible. But at the moment it is required, we can enable the rule based on Windows VMs so that we protect all our environment in just two clicks. And this is all it takes with NSX to block port 445 for an IP subnet. It doesn't matter if the source of the traffic is on the same or an external subnet. Let's go for step 6, use endpoint monitoring to detect if the service installed by WannaCry is running on systems that are not patched. For the sake of time, we are not going to see a live demo of this step because it's based on endpoint monitoring, which is something we have already seen in step 4. So I encourage you to go back and revisit the demo of step 4. And this concludes the sets of demos that show how NSX can help protecting against the WannaCry attack. If you want to find out more details, don't hesitate to reach out to your closest VMware representative or partner. Thank you.